morning welcome to another vlog today's friday i'm making myself breakfast right now and i have two classes biophysics and anatomy and i have to be out the house in 15 minutes so i don't know how i'm gonna make this or do this if you follow me on instagram for the past week then you know the only thing i was talking about was my parasitology exam now i have finally completed it two days ago or three days ago and i use a new steady tool that i'm also going to touch on later and i have to share it with you guys because genuinely it changed everything for me if you're a visual learner then you're going to want to hear this i managed to have breakfast now i have approximately 20 minutes to walk there but we have wonderful weather so i don't mind walking Basically, our exam, our final exam is coming up in two months. In two months, and the semester has passed, and I'm not sure that any one of us knows what we've been doing this semester in physics. We just finished biophysics class, and I just found out that we have anatomy online, which is the best news ever. You know what I like about online? Once you're done, you're already at home. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that about our uni actually, because it genuinely gives you time to prepare for the practical classes, because... <gasps> My headphones! <laughs> Again, Please. this woman forgets her headphones everywhere. It's okay. 300 euro headphones. What do you have to say for yourself? Bye. Uni day is now officially over. We finished biophysics, we finished anatomy. The thing that saved my life for my parasitology exam. Look, I started studying parasitology, trying to make mind maps and overviews and all of them. But as you can see, my handwriting is horrible. Like it's a whole mess. It doesn't look pleasing to the eyes. So there was no way in hell that I would genuinely come back to these mind maps and actually learn anything from it. So then some people reached out to me. They were the founders of a website called Scrintle. And what Scrintle essentially is, it's an endless notepad where you can create boards. I created a whole new one, which is called Parasitology. When I click on it, you can see Parasites is my main card, okay? You can connect it to any other card that you would like. Not only that, but when you click on a specific card, like for example, this one, Parasites, I put the general information for Parasites. But what I also did is I divided all the parasites into the seven sub kingdoms. The number one is this one and there's an arrow that connects it. And I basically followed this exact same principle for all the other parasites as well. And then another thing that really helped me study the worms, for example, was by right clicking, I can create a card, create a board, create text, create a column. So basically I created a column and this one says percutis that were transmitted through skin. Then I did the same thing down here where I made a column for all the bio helmets, which are these ones here. You can even scroll down and up. I put some text blocks up here. And the thing I love the most about Grintel is that whenever I clicked on a sub kingdom, there is all these cards that I already have linked to it. So if I were to open this one, I'll, I'd put it up here. Then I'd open this one, I'll put it there, I'll, I'll open this one. And it makes multitasking so easy. So as you can see, I put the picture of the worms in here. Here I put a YouTube video that really helped me study some of the parasites a lot. Basically, I'm super, super happy that I found something like this and I will definitely keep using it for the future. I'm so excited to create these new boards and also get creative with them. So if you wanna try it out yourself, use my code Diana to get a discount or click the link in my bio. This is my favorite summer kind of meals where I have lots of raw veggies and it's kind of a salad but also savory because of the quinoa.
I don't know why, but after I finished my parasitology exam, I started watching Equalizer, and ever since then, I've been obsessed with movies from Denzel Washington. Ah, he's such a legend, so I watched a movie of him once again today, and it was so comforting. I fell asleep during it, which clearly shows how tired I was from this whole exam preparation. The weather is absolutely beautiful outside, so I have decided to go out, run some errands. I need to print out some documents, and I'm probably gonna do some grocery shopping, and then go work out in the evening. Yeah, it feels so good not having an exam coming up in the next week or so because it allows me to have days like this where all I do is not go to uni and study, you know? But I know those days are still coming. And even though I was gonna work on some other things today, like my book, but basically my body was just like, no girl, you're not. Just sit down, lay down, do nothing, just relax. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> change of plans i was gonna go to the coffee shop but i met my friend halfway and she told me that they close at six and right now we have it 6 45 so i went back home put on my comfy clothes gym gear kind of thing and i'm gonna go to a calisthenics park and just have some fun over there there's always lots of kids and it's just a good way to release some happy energy <laughs> I'm really trying to get into calisthenics to be honest. My arms are absolute jello as you can see like I still have a long way to go but it would be my biggest <laughs> dream to one day be able to do like a pull up or all these cool stunts that people do at calisthenics parks. So I don't know I'm not hard with myself if I do it every summer for the next six years maybe I'll get there but I'm absolutely in no rush to do it and for calisthenics in my opinion the best thing is you're always connecting with people. There's someone who's gonna teach you, there's someone who's gonna play around, there's someone who you're gonna do some kind of competition with. It's it's much more much more playful in my opinion than the gym. Okay, I'm back home. I'm gonna give you a quick grocery haul. I got some apples because I go through apples like they're nothing. I got some tomatoes, some honey, and then usually I don't get avocados, but now I found some good ones. Some bananas for my breakfast smoothie, of course. Some corn. And I know it doesn't fit the vibe, but I saw it and I was like, you're coming home with me. Some uh, instant noodles. In moments of desperation, I guess. So yeah, I will pack all of this away now and already get ready for bed it's nine o'clock it feels like today was 10 days long because i took a nap which i never ever ever do but i'm very happy about i watched a movie i did some uni i went outside it was just overall a really good day and i hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because i am definitely gonna bring more vlogs more regularly to this channel bye